Police in North County need your help to find the thieves who stole from the Oceanside American Little League. Someone broke into their shed and stole thousands of dollars worth of equipment and vandalized the field. News 8's Brandon Lewis spoke with the league's president in this Your Stories report. Now, Carlo and Barbara Lee, after just a few games last month, the field was locked because of the ongoing pandemic. Volunteers would go by to check on things from time to time. And on Tuesday is when they realized somebody broke into one of their sheds and stole thousands of dollars worth of golf carts and blowers, equipment that's going to be essential when it's time to resume playing ball. It was such a bummer just to, to hear of any sort of break in, let alone our two carts missing. This damaged golf cart is all that's been recovered from a break in and vandalism at the Oceanside American Little League. Around 200 kids aged 4 to 14 had just started the season last month before the pandemic. The league locked up two golf carts and leaf blowers, essential equipment for the teams that were then stolen Tuesday by thieves. Of course, we maintain our fields with those where we're, we use those daily, you know, and they're very counted on. So it was such a bummer just to, to hear of any sort of break in, let alone our two carts missing. The league is a source of pride for President Johnny Jimenez. He grew up in Oceanside and played on the 2001 team that made it to the World Series. And when we were 12, we, we went 20, 20 wins straight and we made it to the Little League World Series, um, of course, out of Oceanside, California. So that was a great experience in itself. Now with kids of his own, he and the board are trying to reinvigorate the league so that all of their children have a chance to pursue their dreams. And that's my whole purpose is showing these kids that, you know what, um, regardless of, of everything, hard work will, will outbeat, you know, talent and, and hard work will take you wherever you want it to take you. But they need field equipment to do it once the pandemic is over, which is why the estimated $9,000 in stolen items hits hard for the children of the community. They did an investigation and whatnot, um, fingerprints and all that stuff. But now to have to put this out, even to our own member, members, was, yeah, it was it, it. It took a hit on all of us, and and it was it, it was very hurtful for me as well. You know what I mean? It, it hit me deep. Jimenez says that he is not optimistic police will catch those responsible. So if you'd like to donate to the league and help them buy new equipment, just go to our website, cbs8.com, and click on this story for more information. And if you know of another story you think we'd be interested in, just go ahead and send us an email at yourstories at kfmb.com.